Good morning, Shyam Stars. In Chapter Twelve, Biotechnology and Its Applications, we discussed applications in agriculture in previous videos. In this presentation, we will be talking about biotechnological applications in medicine. Medical biotechnology is defined as the application of biotechnology tools for producing medical products that can be used for the diagnosis, prevention. and treatment of diseases the best known products of medical biotechnology are antibiotics that are used to treat bacterial infections the recombinant therapeutics do not induce unwanted immunological responses as in case of similar products isolated from non human sources currently about 30 recombinant therapeutics have been approved for human use over the world in india 12 of these are presently being marketed in this presentation we will be talking about genetically engineered insulin and vaccines eli lilly an american company in 1983 prepared two dna sequences corresponding to a and b chains of human insulin and introduced them in the plasmids of escherichia coli to produce insulin chains chains a and b were produced separately extracted and combined by creating disulfide bonds to form human insulin insulin used for diabetes was earlier extracted from the pancreas of slaughtered cattle and pigs this caused allergy or other reactions in some patients Insulin consists of two short polypeptide chains as shown in this figure chain A and chain B linked together by disulfide bridges In mammals insulin is synthesized as a prohormone which contains an extra stretch called the C peptide C peptide is not present in the mature insulin and is removed during maturation into insulin Thus the main challenge for the production of insulin using RDNA techniques was getting insulin assembled into a mature form which was done by Eli Lilly an American company in 1983 Another important use of recombinant DNA technology that is biotechnology in production of vaccines through genetic engineering Such vaccines are called recombinant vaccines also called subunit vaccines or second generation vaccines for example hepatitis b dna vaccination is a technique for protecting against disease by injection with genetically engineered plasmid containing the dna sequence encoding the antigen against which an immune response is sought so cells directly produce the antigen causing a protective immunological response protein vaccines use of specific protein produced by recombinant dna in vaccine hepatitis vaccine contains the viral envelope protein hepatitis b surface antigen this gene is isolated from yeast vectors another important vaccine edible vaccines are produced by dna technology Some protein coding genes isolated from pathogens are also incorporated and expressed in plants produce antigens and are also called edible vaccines. So children this is all about production of vaccines by genetic engineering and production of insulin by genetic engineering. In this presentation we discuss these two topics. I hope you must have understood in next presentation we will be discussing about gene therapy and molecular diagnosis thank you shyam stars that's all for today you can drop your queries on google classroom take care